From a small jumping robot to a humanoid AI robot that can parkour and dance, Boston Dynamics is the unstoppable juggernaut of all robotics companies, striding ahead of all the competition, creating the most impressive robots that pushes humanity forward. And today we are going to see the entire revolution of these robots in the past 30 years, and even new ones that you guys I bet haven't even heard of before. One of the first robots from Boston Dynamics created was the Big Dog in 2005. It was shown to the world in 2009 with this video. The robot was designed to be able to carry heavy gear for soldiers in terrains that are too tough for vehicles. So instead of the wheels, it had four legs, allowing it to move across surfaces that would actually destroy the wheels. Big Dog was three feet long and stood at 2.5 feet tall. It was even kicked by a tester to show off the robot's balance. Big Dog was able to carry up to 340 pounds and climb at a 35 degree incline. And it was constantly being tested by the military to be sure that it was used in combat. But it wasn't in 2010 that Big Dog was improved. It could run at 5 miles per hour and handle different types of terrains that it couldn't handle before. Throughout the years, Boston Dynamics keep on testing and improving the Big Dog, and it wasn't until 2013 Big Dog received an arm. This viral video is shown here of Big Dog throwing a brick all by itself. But unfortunately, Big Dog was actually shelved after being deemed for being too loud to be used in combat. But instead of robotic animals, what if they created a robotic humanoid soldiers instead? In 2009, Boston Dynamics started working on this human-like robot called Petman. This robot could walk at a 3.2 speed per hour. Petman has hydraulic actuators, which kind of acts like muscles. In total, Petman had around 30 hydraulic actuators. In 2011, Petman received a huge upgrade and could walk, squat, and even do push-ups. Petman, which stands for Protection Assemble Test Mannequin, was developed for the U.S. Army. We actually plan to use this robot to test out chemical suits and additional protective gear used by troops. It had to be capable of moving just like a real soldier, but to make it even more human-like, it also changes its skin temperature and sweat. Yep, sweat. Oh my god! As the name implies, Cheetah was the first attempt to creating a fast running robot. And to boost the Cheetah's speed, it wasn't just a matter of increase of energy or power. It also included a biologically inspired choreograph of interactions between the robot's feet, legs, and even back. The cheetah could reach a 28.3 miles per hour. The top speed of a biological cheetah is around 70 miles per hour. Maybe one day they'll be able to reach that. But Boston Dynamics cheetah speed was recorded at 28.3 miles per hour, which was accidentally faster than the Olympic champion Usain Bolt, who got the record for the 100 meter dash with a speed of 27.8 miles per hour back in 09. But now with the creation of the humanoid robot and the speed of a cheetah, the next robot will actually blow you away. It's a humanoid robot based on the Petman robot. Atlas is a collection of over a decade of hydraulic humanoid robotic work at Boston Dynamics. Originated in 2013, Atlas stood around 6.2 feet tall and weighed around 330 pounds. The robot has gone so many changes since its actual debut. In 2016, Atlas received a new design with a height around 5 feet tall, a lot shorter than the previous version. But this new version of Atlas is designed to operate both outdoors and inside buildings. It uses sensors in its bodies and legs to balance and LiDAR and stereo sensors in its own head to avoid obstacles. With the next generation in 2019, Atlas could run outdoors. During the development process, new techniques were developed, allowing Atlas to use its whole body with complex algorithms to calculate the speed and coordination of its movements. It learned how to do some hardcore, and it can even do tricks with a success rate of about 80%. Pushing the limits on Atlas pushed the innovation for both hardware and software that could translate to all other robots at Boston Dynamics. But just letting Atlas go do some hardcore isn't easy at all, even though they make it look super easy. And at this point, Boston Dynamics says it will not partner with any of those who wish to use robotics as a weapon. Because we all know that AI robotics mixed with warfare sounds like a recipe for disaster. But if you're someone just like me that's fascinated with stuff just like that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because my future videos are on how China is on its way to literally creating AI robotic soldiers that could take over the world. 
All right, spot, are you ready? Let's go. The original SPA, which since became SPA Classic, became a turning point in Boston Dynamics robot revolution. It was designed for both indoors and outdoors operation, weighing in at around 160 pounds. It was fast, smaller, and even more agile than the big dog models that came before it. The robot is all electric and it runs about 90 minutes on a single charge. The company describes SPA Classic as a machine that quote, multiple variations were made, including SPA Mini in 2016, which was a smaller version weighing around 50 55 pounds. The name was later changed to just Spot as it became a flagship design for the Spot model. One year later, Spot received a new and more iconic yellow design. It's one of the quietest robots on the company has ever built. Some versions also include an arm, allowing it to do tasks just like opening doors. This is the most watched video from Boston Dynamics YouTube channel, just like you would expect, especially coming from Boston Dynamics. Spot was also heavily abused huh? by its testers, of course. In June 2020, Spot was one of the first robots the company released commercially for $74,500. Spot already been used in hospitals, police and fire departments, and construction sites. Shout out the NYPD. The robot was used in a huge variety of applications. It could autonomously collect data, capture and monitor sites, carry up to 14 kilograms of equipment, explore terrains, and it could also be used for custom tasks. Boston Dynamics also started working with NASA. The robot can now explore areas on other planets that no human could ever access. Honestly, I think Boston Dynamics and SpaceX to actually work together and Spot might be able to help popularize <laughs> Mars. In 2017, Handle was introduced. The wheeled robot stands at 6.5 feet tall and can reach a top speed of 9 miles per hour. Handle is designed for logistics and also handling tasks like picking up boxes and placing them somewhere else. In 2021, two more commercially available robots were introduced for warehouse operations. The first is PIC, and it uses machine learning algorithm to politize their fast and accurately. The second is Stretch. Stretch is a versatile mobile robot that could unload trucks and also build pallets. And these robots could actually work autonomously with no human human required. It's really unbelievable how far Boston Dynamics came with these robots. With the noisy and clumsy big dog development back in 2005, all the way to the latest iterations of Atlas and Spot in 2021 that can even dance together. This video has generated over millions of views, giving Boston Dynamics all the praise it deserves by attracting new customers, new partners, and popularity. I personally think that these robots will actually change the way we live our lives for the better by assisting the elderly, disaster relief, ocean cleanup and recycling much more as it started with just one man's passion project turned into his wildest dream inspiring the next generation of engineers to do the impossible and change the world for the better